up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. You can check us out at maplemotors.com. We got a hundred at least 100 cars in inventory you can see with 100 detailed pictures of each car inside out and underneath. This right here is a 1992 Mustang 5.0. It's a Mustang GT. I'm gonna do a little walk around. This car needs a paint job. Runs and drives good, which I'll be doing a test drive here in a moment. We're gonna take it down the road. I'll point out any kind of flaws that I can find on this car on the outside, which there's a lot on the paint job. It definitely needs a paint job. So I'm gonna look for cracks and dents, mainly. We'll start up here at the front bumper. You can see all the little chips, spiderweb cracks. Needs a new little grill down here. Somebody made that. There's a bunch of little imperfections on the lower bumper. Top part of the car looks pretty good. There's a small dent right here. Looking over this hood. See all the oxidation in it. All the trim needs to be repainted. It's faded and chipped. See all the fading going on in that lower trim around the car. It's got a set of, I thought they were black, but they're like dark blue wheels. So a lot of this stuff needs to be replaced. Showing a lot of signs of age, I'm trying to look for any kind of dents up here. There's quite a few. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight small little held dents. You can see, I'm trying to make them pop up for y'all guys so you can actually see them. Small little ding right there. They're all about that size, so it must have held or something some point caused all that a little bit of a rough paint job like i said back bumpers completely faded wings in good condition it actually looks good the paint on the wing looks great once you look up down through here see the paint's gone there in that bumper there's a dent right here on this fender there's a dent right here I don't know how that happened a weird spot a lot of little scratches right there everything's faded Let me go ahead and pop the hood for you. The interior is actually in good shape. It's not all beat up. Carpet could be better. Probably change out the carpet, but you could leave the seats. They're in good condition. 
Back seats look pretty good too. They're not all worn out or faded. The tent around the car looks good. Headliner's in good condition. So's the dash. None of that's cracked up. I guess the paint's just sun faded. And all the trim where it's been sitting outside. Car starts up good. Sounds good. Got a good exhaust system on it. Like I said, that that carpet needs, needs to be replaced or dyed. It looks like somebody tried to dye it at one point. We'll pop the hood here. Uh, showing 58,000 miles, probably more like 158,000 miles because it don't have the 100,000 mile speedo or odometer. Car is really not too bad on the inside. I'd say you throw a paint job on it and get some of that trim work on. It'd be pretty nice. <clears throat> Looks good under the hood. Let's see if I can pull this out. Doing all this one handed. I'm gonna break stuff. Give me just a second. Here we go. All right, guys. Looks nice under the hood. We did have uh, the clutch and the fan replaced. We had a fuel pump put in it. Cause you had to turn the key three or four times to get it to start to build pressure before. Motor sounds nice and strong. We'll go in here and check that out. Actually, let me pop the hatch real quick. There's a button up under here you gotta push to release the ignition so the keys will come out. We'll see if the, uh, a lot of times the hinges are wore out on these hatches, but this one's not, it stays up good. Yeah, you can see all the paneling looks good in here. It's not all wore out, but they did. They tried to dye the carpet, somebody did. Didn't do too good of a job, kinda looks like a dog's fur or something. The way they did. It's soft though. Feels good. Uh, still got this. Let's see if it works. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> and a lot of this weather stripping still looks good. It's nice and soft. Car's got a lot of potential, really. Especially in the price range it's in. All right. Let's hop off in here. Go ahead and start her up. Brakes on. We're barely rolling, we stopped. Okay, so the brake light cuts off. You can see the battery gauge is working. The engine's still cold. I haven't really had it running long. Let's see if I can block that. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. The gas gauge works. Oil pressure works. Got a good sound to it. air works but it doesn't come out the vents the the little actuator switch i guess is not flipping but the ac is cold coming out of the defrost and the floor right now it's blowing hard let's try the windows i haven't tried those they're fast. That one kind of dropped fast. Let's try the other one. Could be in the switch. Let me try this other side. No, I'm going to say the power window motor's out over there. Let's take a
take a step out of the car. I'm gonna put the brake back on, just so it don't roll away on me. I guess I'll roll the window down. I've had too many of these cars with power locks lock after I shut the door. Not that this one will, but I don't wanna have to break in it. Belt's a little bit squeaky. Motor's nice and quiet. Right, guys i'm gonna go ahead and do a test drive on this car i'm getting ready to leave here in just a second i appreciate y'all watching if you want to see 100 detailed pictures on this car go to my website maplemotors.com you can also answer questions as in financing transportation options we got wheels and tire section parts section previous inventory and inventory up to date as of every monday afternoon please check that out as you can see we got a car lot full of classics Every once in a while we get these Fox bodies in. We all love these Mustangs up here. I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any other questions, give us a call. 615-822-4444. We'll be happy to help you out. Please share. Please subscribe if you want to see daily content. And thanks again, guys.